Greetings from MRCP Online Courses Team. Welcome to the Essentials Series for MRCP Part 1. In this video, we will share with you some essential information about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. By Dr. Mamdou Mohamed Ahmed, MRCP Online Course Instructor. Well, Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is considered to be the most common cause of sudden cardiac death in the young. As you can see in the illustration here, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is characterized by obstruction of the left ventricular outflow tract. This obstruction is caused primarily by asymmetrical septal hypertrophy, which is considered the hallmark of the disease. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern. But, in 50% of patients it has a sporadic occurrence. In 70% of all patients, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy occurs as a result of mutations in the genes encoding for beta-myosin, alpha-tropomyosin, and troponin proteins of the myocardium. From pathophysiological perspective, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is characterized by diastolic dysfunction and Left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. Diastolic dysfunction, in its turn, is basically due to reduced ventricular compliance as a result of left ventricular hypertrophy and subsequent impaired left ventricular filling. On the other hand, left ventricular outflow tract obstruction is caused by asymmetrical septal hypertrophy and the pathological hemodynamically driven systolic anterior motion of the anterior mitral leaflet. In the illustration presented here, you can see how the anterior mitral leaflet moves paradoxically during systole to obstruct the left ventricular outflow tract. Of note that, normally in systole the anterior mitral leaflet should be in opposition to the posterior mitral leaflet to close the mitral valve. This is another illustration to demonstrate the systolic anterior motion of the anterior mitral leaflet obstructing the left ventricular outflow tract. Clinically speaking, patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy are frequently asymptomatic. Other symptoms include exertional dyspnea, angina, syncope typically after exercise, and sudden cardiac death that occurs mostly due to atrial fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. Clinical signs of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy include jerky pulse, Large A wave of the jugular venous pulse. Double apical beat. Ejection systolic murmur that is characterized by its changing intensity, for example its intensity increases with valsalva maneuver and decreases by squatting. And pan-systolic murmur of mitral regurge due to systolic motion of the anterior mitral leaflet leaving the mitral valve open during systole. Echocardiographically, Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is characterized by mitral regurgitation, systolic anterior motion of the anterior mitral leaflet, and asymmetrical septal hypertrophy. On ECG, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is manifest by LVH criteria, deep T wave inversions, and deep pathological Q waves. Occasionally, it is associated with atrial fibrillation or WPW syndrome. During assessment of patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathies, physicians should be aware of the risk factors associated with poor prognosis. These factors include syncope, family history of sudden death, young age at presentation, non-sustained ventricular tachycardia on 24 or 48 hour halter monitoring. Abnormal blood pressure changes on exercise. An increased septal wall thickness. Treatment includes drug therapy, device therapy, and surgical treatment. Amiodaron is used for treatment of arrhythmias, VTAF. Beta blockers or veripamil are used for symptom relief with their basic aim is reduction of ventricular contractility. Cardioverter defibrillator ICD is used for secondary prevention of SCD. Dual chamber pacemaker is rarely used. Septal myomectomy, either surgical or chemical by alcohol. 
To reduce LVOT pressure gradient is reserved for those with severe symptoms. Finally, nitrates, ACE inhibitors, and inotropes are contraindicated in such patients as they are associated with hemodynamic compromise. Thank you so much for watching this video. MRCP Online Courses Team